1000. What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTS. What's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTS. What's in your plate? Big GTF. Kisa. What's good? Another day. Another video. GTF, what's good, man? What's going on? It's October 31st, you heard? It's Halloween. Happy Halloween to y'all out there that celebrated, you heard? Me personally, I'm not really a big Halloween person, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, growing up in a Haitian parent household, like, my mama was not, my parents, they was not on that Halloween vibe. They was not on that buying costumes. They was not on that trick or treating vibe. I can't speak for all Haitians, but I know a lot of Haitians that I knew, their parents weren't on that, you feel me? I can't speak for all, but a lot of Haitians' parents. I don't know what it was, you feel me? It just felt like they felt like the whole Halloween vibe like symbolized some type of devilish type of situation. You understand what I'm saying? So if we if we if we if me and my family or me and my siblings did partake in Halloween, you feel me, it had to be behind my parents' backs. But like for the most part, I never really been into it. It's like when I grew up in the neighborhood, the most we did, like I ain't gonna lie, I bought masks. You know, if I had money, I, my mom wasn't gonna give me no money to buy no no masks, you feel me? But if I had them saved up, like, you know, money or whatever, uh I probably would have bought, 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 I probably done bought masks in the past or what have you. I never really bought a full costume. But, you know, other than that, like, what we used to do in our neighborhood, we used to buy eggs. And we used to egg people. We used to egg people or egg their houses and stuff like that. That's what we used to do. Like, you know what I mean? I know, you know, y'all probably looking like, you know, damn, you know, that's, that, that's messed up. But, you know, it happened. You feel me? Now I look back on it, you know, it was kind of messed up. But it's, you think about it, it's funny now. You feel me? We used to egg people. <laughs> That's how we we used to have egg fights. You know what I mean? We used to have egg fights. You know what I mean? So, you know, my parents wasn't on it. My mama definitely wasn't gonna give me no money to go buy no eggs to throw at people. You feel me? But yeah, man, it's crazy, man. But yeah, happy Halloween. Um, I was just listening to the Breakfast Club and they was talking about something about being too old to trick or treat. Talking about a, a specific town or certain towns that got a ban. Well, not a ban, but like got an age limit on trick or treating. If they catch you trick or treating and you over a certain age, you could get jail time. And I was like, I couldn't believe it, right? So I went to pull it up on the internet, and uh, I'm on this website called Newser, and it says Halloween is almost here, and the debate is here again. How old is too old to go trick or treating? While it's generally agreed that nobody should still be asking door to door for candy when they hit. Their 20s, there's no consensus on the cutoff point for teenagers, NPR News reports. Some towns still ban older teenagers from trick-or-treating, including Belleville, Illinois, where a city law states that, that, that it is unlawful for any person to appear on the streets, highways, public homes, private homes, or public places in the city to make trick-or-treat visitations. <laughs> Unless they are in the eighth grade or lower, dog. That's crazy to me, bro. It's still a lot going on. Other cities and towns put the age limit at 12, 13, or 14. Curfews are also common, with Belleville putting the time limit at 8.30 p.m. I ain't gonna lie, it's, a, it's long. Like, I don't want, if I keep reading it, the video gonna be long. We already know some people be complaining about the length of the video sometimes. But I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy, though. I ain't know that it was an age. I mean, although, like, you feel me? Like, I ain't never, I always thought of, I always thought of, like, trick-or-treating being, like, a kid situation. But I know adults partaking it as well. Like, I've never really thought about it. The whole age limit thing so it's kind of crazy to hear about that right now you feel me but y'all fam as far as the food today man today we're doing another 24 hour video you feel me um we're doing a 24 hour we only eating halloween food items for 24 hours yard so that's what we got going on let go Alright fam, we pulling up right now. Alright fam, we pulling up on that first stop, you heard? First stop is breakfast time, you feel me? Y'all already know donuts is always good for breakfast. And when it comes to donuts, Krispy Kreme's got that thing on lock, you heard? I ain't gonna cap with y'all. Yeah fam, we pulling up to the speaker right now. I'm gonna open the doors on them, you heard? Yes, hello. Uh, you guys have the Halloween donuts? Yeah, I wanted to order the, the Halloween donuts. So, how many Halloween donuts? How many guys have you made? Uh, how many guys have I just want one of each. Yeah, one of each? Yep. Yeah. And here? 
Um, can I try the? Uh, what that is uh, pumpkin spice? Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice latte. You say frozen or what? Frozen hot or ice? Uh, frozen hot or ice? Uh, frozen. So you want a large pumpkin spice frozen? Do they have mediums? Yes, sir. Yeah, let me have a medium. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. That's all. So I haven't got the drink too, like the pumpkin spice drink. I don't even. I don't even be drinking those lattes and stuff like that, fam. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you be drinking stuff like that, latte or the pumpkin. I just got it for, you know, for, you know, it's pumpkin spice or Halloween. You know what I mean? All that. It's crazy. There you go. Damn, fam, I ain't gonna lie, it's looking like it's gonna be expensive Halloween, you heard? I already done spun a little bag here for breakfast. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, fam, we got the grub. We got the cup. I mean, I mean, we got my car back. I got the, uh, the damage report right here, and I ain't gonna lie for all that money they charging. They could at least get some better ink or something, or they could at least stay on top of their ink because this receipt is fading right now. I could barely read this. I could barely read this, bro. Crazy. Thank you. This looks nice, fam. And we're off, you heard? We're off. All right, fam. We gotta find. We gotta find a uh, find a spot to park, you heard? All right, fam. We about to get this party started, Jerry. Time to set up Grub Tip Mobile Studios. Fam, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'd be happy to get me some Krispy Kreme donuts. You feel me? I love Krispy Kreme donuts. I don't get to eat it often because, of course, I'm like, you know what I mean? Eating Krispy Kreme donuts is not, every day is not good for your health. But for the most part, when I get to get me some Krispy Kremes, I'm gonna enjoy that, you heard? So, here's the donuts right here. We got a drink. This will be my first time ever trying one of these old latte things. I just got it. You know, it says pumpkin spice. You know what I mean? Halloween pumpkin spice. Let me go ahead on the try since I'm doing a 24-hour only consuming Halloween Halloween items video. You feel me? But let's pop this thing. Oh. All right, fam. That close-up action you heard. We got four different donuts here. We got the Scooby-Doo donut. This the mystery machine. This the Jinkies Halloween Orange Sprinkle. And this the Spooky Monster Cookies and Cream. Every time I say, hey, people, people try to say, oh, I sound like Scooby-Doo. Do I sound like Scooby-Doo when Scooby -Doo? I say, hey? Fam, what y'all think, man? Drop them comments. All right, fam. So I went online to pull up the, these um, donuts so I can give you a brief description on them. So the Scooby-Doo Donut is an original glazed donut dipped into Scooby-Doo blue icing decorated with Scooby-Doo lime green icing swirls, orange cake batter buttercream, and topped with a Scooby-Doo chocolate piece. The Mystery Machine Donut, an original glazed donut dipped in chocolate icing and chocolate sprinkles decorated with Scooby-Doo lime green icing and a Mystery Machine chocolate piece. 
Jinkies Halloween orange sprinkle, zoinks. An orange glazed donut dipped in orange icing and decorated with a spooky Halloween sprinkle blend. Spooky monster cream, monster, spooky monster cookies and cream. It's a donut filled with Oreo cookies and cream filling dipped in, dipped in Scooby-Doo purple icing decorated with Oreo pieces, black chocolate icing, and a Scooby-Doo monster chocolate piece. Monster chocolate piece may vary between the creeper, the space cook, the Yeti. So that's what it says online here. And as far as the um, the frozen pumpkin spice latte, which is I got right here, it says uh, a blended frozen latte flavored with pumpkin spice topped with topped with whipped cream. Yeah, so you know the crazy thing about this, I went and got this and they gave me a straw, but I don't use straws, so I'm gonna have to use a spoon. We'll see how that goes. Matter of fact, let me start off with that first. Let me just start off with that first. I don't know how that's gonna go trying to make a spoon with that. Y'all ever try to drink a latte with a spoon? I'm about to try. Y'all see it? Hit DB. I'm away! It's not bad. This is my first time trying this. Trying lattes, period. Not bad. Kind of remind me sort of like a smoothie. It's sweet. It's cinnamony. I ain't gonna lie. It's not bad. Like this, is something like I would get on a um on a hot day. It's like very cooling here. Not bad. I probably feel like I got a bit too much because I'm not gonna finish all this. You know, it got the coffee flavor as well, but it's not bad. Close up action. It's not bad. I actually like it. On a scale of 10, get this, uh, let me see one more time. Hold on. On a scale of 10, I get at a 7.8. It's not bad. I like it. It was something cool. Like, would I really come back here just for a latte again? No. But I like it, though. I'm just not really a latte person. But if you a latte person, I think you would definitely enjoy it. Now we're going to get into them donuts. So what we're going to do is, which one should we start off first? We got four. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, you feel me? Now, to be honest with y'all, I'm going to save the best for last. I always felt like 
the best donuts is the donuts that's filled on the inside. So we got two donuts here that don't have any filling. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with the donuts with no filling. We're gonna start off with the Jinkies Halloween sprinkles. What's this one right here? Jinkies Halloween sprinkles. Hit DB. I'm away. Hmm. Ain't gonna lie, it's not bad, but I kind of dislike the whole sprinkle thing. The sprinkle's kind of hard. Most definitely a good donut. I mean, it's good. I mean, it's fresh. It's sweet, fluffy on the inside. I don't like them sprinkles though, they're kind of too hard. Now, we're gonna start off with the other one that don't have a, um, that doesn't have filling. I wonder if this mystery machine stuff is edible. Hey, baby. Oh, it is edible. The mystery machine, the car. The van, rather, is edible. It's the mystery machine donut. Mystery machine donut, hit that baby. Uh oh! Mm. This one is way better than the orange sprinkle one. This appears to have sprinkles on it too. But whatever sprinkles they got, these black sprinkles, like they're not as hard as the um, ones that's on the orange sprinkle one. Hey, DB. Mm. This one's fire. I ain't gonna lie. That one's fire. Damn. Now this one, the spooky monster cookies and cream. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know how I'm gonna like this one. For the simple fact, like it's one of those dry donuts. Like it don't have that frosting on the outside. It don't got the frosting. I love donuts with frosting on them. So I ain't gonna lie. I'm probably not gonna like this one. But we gonna see. This one has that, uh, Cookies and cream filling, so that's a good, that's a plus. You feel me? But I don't like the fact that it's dry on the outside. I like frosting on the outside. You feel me? Y'all see what's going on. Spooky monster donut. Hey, baby. Boy food. It's not bad. Hit baby. That donut is okay. I like my donut with frosting on the outside. So I'm not really a big fan of it. But what really helps it is the fact that I do like cookies and cream. So the cookies and cream filling on the inside you know, that kind of helps it. But out of these three so far, damn. Out of these three so far, my favorite right now is the uh, Mystery Machine. Mystery Machine 5. Between these two right here, Last place is the orange one, because like I said, those sprinkles too hard for me. Second place, cookies and cream. Now, Scooby-Doo Donut. Does the Scooby-Doo Donut is filled with anything? I don't know if it's filled on the inside. Is it a filled donut? Oh no, it's not a filled donut, it's a regular donut. 
Scooby Doo Donut hit there, babe. Babe? Mm-hmm. A Scooby Doo piece? Scooby Doo donut, not all these four. The Scooby Doo donut takes the race here. Scooby Doo donut's the best. Then Scooby Doo donut, then Mystery Machine, then Spooky Monster. Last place, Orange Sprinkles. Scooby Doo donut definitely takes the cake. Gotta hit it one more time. Hit the baby. B. Scooby Doo doing a fight. Is that orange cake batter in the middle? Yes, sir. Damn. They did that. Very sweet. Good flavor. Damn. These are most definitely some good donuts on Angle Cabbage Hall. I just think out of the four, Scooby Doo one is the best. So if I had to go there and just order just one, it would be the Scooby Doo one that I ordered. You feel me? As far as the damage receipt goes, fam, I said damage receipt, I mean damage report. Like I said, man, all the money that I spent, they could afford to get some better ink, bro. Look at this. You can barely read this receipt, bro. They could afford to get some better ink, bro. Y'all collecting all that damn money. In total... The latte was four fifty nine, and they charged me extra fifty extra most cent just for the whipped cream. I thought whipped cream was a part of it. The donuts, Spooky Monster was two fifty nine, two fifty nine. Mystery Machine was two fifty nine. Scooby Doo, Lemon Sprinkle was the cheapest donut. That was two nineteen. Subtotal fourteen ninety five. Sales tax thirty five cent. Grand total fifteen thirty. I heard. 15.30. But y'all fam, that concludes this portion of 24 hours of eating nothing but Halloween items. Y'all stay tuned for the next spot. All right fam, we back yard. We just pulling into the second stop, man. 24 hours of eating Halloween items only, you feel me? This is the lunch portion right now. Man, what are these back roads messed up over here? In this plaza, man, they need to fix this, man. Do they not care? We're over here in Pimper Pines, Florida. Your destination is on the right. Y'all here, man. Destination is on the right. Destination is on the right, man. Y'all want to know what we pulling up to? Y'all about to see. You understand me? Hope everybody out there having a happy Halloween for those that celebrated as well. You understand me? Hope y'all have plenty of fun. Hope everybody out there remaining safe. All that, man. All that. You got parking over here? Alright, you got a parking space right here. Alright, fam, y'all see what's going on, man. Going to Papa John's with it, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sir, we in here, you understand me? Hey, how you doing? I'll fix the order online. What, Jack and Lantern pizza? What's your name? Three. All 
I found. We got the ground. You understand me? I don't know if some of y'all out there know. Some of y'all already might know the Papa John's item that we trying for Halloween. Some of y'all might not know. You feel me? Everybody don't know. You feel me? But y'all already know, man. Grub on sight. Don't cause no fight. Ugh. All right, fam. We in the whip yard. And we got the grub yard. And we still continuing the Halloween festivities. Time to set up Grub Tip Mobile Studios. All right, so what's next? Um, hey, fam, you know what's crazy? The guy in there recognized me. He was like saying, hey, I was glad to see that you enjoy, enjoyed our stuffed crust pizza. I'm like, what are you talking about? He was like, oh, your video on YouTube, you're famous. I was like, oh, you seen that? I was like, hell no. And the guy that, I don't know if he was like a manager or was he the franchise owner or whoever he was. But I was like, I just thought it was kind of funny. But yeah, man, we got the pizza. Like I said, we continuing the Halloween festivities. Halloween food for 24 hours. At lunchtime, we got we got Papa John. Now, what does Papa John have for Halloween? Let's pop this thing open and find out. Why lie? All right, fam, that close-up action, man. Y'all see what's going on, fam. It's the jack-o'-lantern pizza. What y'all think? Does it look like a jack-o'-lantern to y'all? Y'all drop them comments. Let me know what y'all think. I ain't gonna lie to this thing. smelling pretty good, Jerry. Yeah, fam, this is the jack-o'-lantern pizza right here. As you can see, the pizza is shaped like a pumpkin. But I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Papa John's gonna put me on a mission with this one. They don't put me on a mission, bro. Y'all wonder what I mean. Uh, when I say mission, see when I uh, when I went in there, I asked them, and I opened a pizza to look at the pizza while I was in there, and I noticed that the pizza wasn't cut, and I asked the guy, and I was like, uh, you guys don't cut the pizza, and he was like, nah, I'm like, wow, but they provide you with a pizza cutter, you feel me? They're gonna give me an honorary Papa John's pizza cutter, bro. so I gotta cut the pizza myself. So I went online and looked it up, and it says Jack O' Lantern pizza served unsliced on our crispy thin crust topped with melty cheese and pepperoni. So yeah, they serve the jack-o'-lantern pizza unsliced, you heard? But it's all good though, we gonna try to make it do what it do. I don't know, man, like, to be honest with you, I ain't never really cut no pizza before. I mean, I have with a knife. I've never used something like this. We're about to see what it's hitting for. It says caution, sharp edge pizza slicer only. This product is not designed or intended to cut or slice other food items or objects, you heard? Caution, you understand me? Y'all see what's going on. This don't seem sharp to me. Feel me? Look. <laughs> we about to try to cut this piece of, oh man, I don't know how this about to work, you heard? I'm about to try it out, man, let's see, we over here trying to cut the piece of, man. Yeah, man, this is a catastrophe right here, you heard? This is a catastrophe right here, fam, I ain't gonna count with y'all, man, look at this. We about to have to go no holes barge on this thing, man, I ain't gonna cap with you. Did I even break it? Mm, it's alright. It ain't perfect. As you can see, the crust is thin as they state. Feel me? I'll see what's going on. Hopefully, they still got the uh, same, you know, how the Papa John tomato sauce taste and all that. For anybody out there that knows me, for, for those who've been watching the channel for a long time, y'all know that Papa John's my favorite pizza, bro. No cap. I mean, I've tasted other good pieces as well, but Papa John's my favorite. Not saying that there are not any other pieces out there that probably could be better than Papa John's, but I haven't tasted them yet, y'all heard? But we about to try the jack o lantern pizza. Hit DB. I'm away! It's not bad.
It's not bad. It does taste like Papa John pizza. It's not bad. It does taste like Papa John pizza. But I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I like the original Papa John pizza. Like the crust is too thin for me. I know some people like that like thin crust. So for those who like thin crust, you would definitely enjoy this pizza. I like the normal crust better. Like this is too thin for me. Like I ain't gonna John. It still tastes good though, but I prefer if I was to go in there and order pizza without order thin crust, no, I want the regular crust, bro. But this not bad though, it's okay. You hear me? Hit me, bitch. Me? It's crispy. Cheesy, it's crispy. Pepperoni on there. Everything cooked up. Satisfaction. The savory. That tomato sauce on there. Give it a tomato vibes. Hit that bitch. Oh, yeah, and after the other day of trying that. Peach Phantom. I went to Wawa to the freestyle machine and got that Peach Phantom. That Peach Phantom so good. Hit that To be honest, I know this piece is muscle designed for the kids. I don't want to talk about my fault. Watch it down. Well, yeah, I feel like a piece is muscle designed for the kids. Being this a jack-o'-lantern piece, like, you know what I mean? Like, being that the way it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be shaped. The, um, you know what I mean? The crust is thinner, the, the pepperoni not evenly distributed and all that. All in all, though, the taste is there. It's not, it's not, it's not disgusting or anything. About to cut another piece right now as we speak. With this roly thing. This roly cutter, man. I don't like this thing. I don't like it. I'm trying to cut the pizza myself. I ain't feeling that vibe right there. Oh yeah, man, y'all already know we got the garlic sauce. Y'all already know. This one of the top dog sauces out there when it comes to sauce. Feel me? Papa Jones got that sauce. Dip that beer. Hit that beer. Mm. That garlic sauce. Top of the line, top of the line sauce right there. Dip that beer. Hit that beer. Anybody out there that feel like Papa John's ain't a top dog when it comes to pizza, you sleep, bro. You sleep. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments a pizza that tastes better than Papa John's so I can go try. Wash it down. Papa John's pizza with peach sprite. Perfect combination. 
My bad, I said peace, right? I'm gonna say peace. Peach Fanta. Peach soda. Cut it one more time. Put your boy to work, you're getting your boy that arm workout. Get that arm workout in here. Hit DB. Hit DB. Wash it down. Do you guys prefer the regular crust or thin crust? Let me know in the comments. Thin crust or the regular crust? Let me know in the comments. Definitely is crispy. I mess with it. Boy, stuff, fam. I got a whole lot left for later on. It was good. So yeah, as far as the uh, they didn't give me a paper receipt. The price is on the box. There's a stick on the box. So I got the Jack of Lantern pizza. With taxes and everything, it was a lamb 76 year. A lamb 76. That was the cost of the pizza. That's not a bad price. It's, I mean, it's, it's a pretty big pizza. Um, I like the pizza. I don't hate it. Like I said, I prefer the regular crust pizza. That super thin crust is cool. I don't hate it. You feel me? All the flavors are still there. Just that I don't like the super thin crust. I rather the regular crust. Um, but if you're a person that like thin crust, I think you'll like it. On a scale of 10, I would have given it a 9. 
You know what I mean? With the whole thin crust thing, give it an 8.8, er, 8.8. Other than that, though, it's cool, you feel me? It's a cool vibe for Halloween, you understand me? I know the kids, you buy that for the kids, the kids that are into Halloween like that, they would definitely love it. You feel me? You know, Jack and Lantern pizza, you feel me? Right in that, it's good. You feel me? Wash it down. Try this today, not tomorrow.